What is something you don't understand about humanity? The hate for assisted suicide in terminal cases. Edit. Glad to see this topic get some attention. That's definitely something I'll never understand. We euthanize animals to prevent them from suffering. Yet for some reason we deemed it inhumane to allow terminal patients that same option. On top of that animals can never truly consent to being put down. Whereas a human can straight up say hey I'm suffering every single day. The medical bills are piling up and we all know I'm going to die regardless. Please put me out of my misery and let me die with a little dignity. I know some states in the US, not sure about other countries, have changed their laws to allow it though. I just personally feel like it should be a widely accepted thing. Our lack of compassion for other human beings. Edit. Thanks kind stranger for the healthcare hero award. A lie award and wearing is caring award. This. It's probably too much to worry about like war and widespread exploitation and stuff. But I can't stop wondering why everyday people won't do even the most simplest things to not make other people's lives unnecessarily more difficult. The obsession with race. We are all mixed races. The difference is that some of us know our mixed and the majority doesn't or doesn't acknowledge that. This is why we need to be invaded by aliens. Only then can we stand united as one species. My hypothesis is that it's vestigial from our hunter-gatherer days. At this time, interacting with unknown tribes, for lack of a better word, could be detrimental to your own tribe's survival for a variety of reasons. Competition for resources, food, water, etc, disease, war, etc. So it would be sensible to avoid these unknown peoples. And a different appearance would be the first unrecognizable tray. Even with all of our modern intelligence. It may still be difficult to overcome our atavistic emotions. Cultural heritage takes the race aspect of it. Culture is predominantly a geographic thing. We all gotta grow up somewhere. Racism solved. I really don't understand why there are so many people who aren't honest by default. The need to lie is something I'll never understand. Short term versus. Long term gains. In the short term. Dishonesty gives one the power to avoid or postpone a lot of socially unpleasant interactions. In the long term it's a strategy that bears bitter fruit. As the cost is trust and relationships that require trust to work. But not everyone is good at consistently looking long term. Our complete disregard for nature and the other animals on this planet. Short sightedness. We need immediate gratification even if it's at the expense of a bird. How people can hurt children. I don't understand how people can purposefully harm a child without suffering immense amounts of guilt. I know I would. Why there's 8 hot dogs to a pack. But 6 hot dog rolls to a pack. The buns I buy have 8 in the pack. How they perceive childbirth as a favor. Giving birth to a child and providing him her the bare minimum to stay alive is not a favor on your offspring. Parenting is not as noble as people may think. Or how one's parents expect you to give them grandchildren like it's some sort of preordained right they have. Lucky for me. Mine didn't give a shit. Disregard of lives and close mindedness. People's inability to trust science especially when it's for something like I don't know. A global pandemic. Turns out that faith and freedom are not especially effective vaccines. How can we have people starving in 2020? I simply can't understand why this problem is so hard to solve as a planet. Hunger was literally 100% solved in America by 1970s. The government distribution system was working great. It was low cost and lead to a healthier and smarter population. We decided to dismantle 95% of it because of the meme that someone somewhere might have bought a steak and booze with a food stamp. How people all want the same thing but won't stop arguing how to get there. Because the details are important. If everyone agrees we need to build a ship to get across the sea great. Now we need to decide where we get the lumber from. If we strip this one forest an animal dies out or if we strip this other forest a different animal dies out. 
The point I'm making is the details and repercussions of those details are as if not more important than the end goal. How human beings lack empathy among ourselves. We just aren't inherently designed to understand and comprehend things that haven't happened to us. And it's disheartening and baffling that people don't make an effort to learn and help each other. Why we spend billions looking for life on other planets while simultaneously destroying the life on this planet. They don't have to be mutually exclusive. You might as well argue why are we spending money on anything that is not in the pursuit of the preservation of our planet. We could and should absolutely divert more resources towards saving our planet. But we are naturally curious beings and should continue to look towards the stars to answer maybe the most compelling question there is. How people can hold so much hate for another person over things that do not affect them. This is a good one. I think it most commonly relates to jealousy. Though. How some people just don't understand basic things. Like how people don't have mental disorders just for attention. They have a hard time believing what they don't see, unless it's religion but that's a whole different discussion. Conceptualizing a pain or dysfunction they've never had is kind of like thinking of a new color. It takes a lot of trust and empathy to truly understand it. Humanity is really not good at either of those things. Full stop. Full stop. As a whole anyways. I will never understand why we try to live up to the expectations of others. Even strangers. I think instinctually people know they are safer as part of a community. So it's natural to want to fit in. Why do we make stupid people famous? You won't attract any flies with vinegar. You'll attract a few flies with honey. But most flies will be attracted by bullshit. Double quote. Why we can't just put on a damn mask? The people that grind my gears are the ones that claim they have a medical condition so serious that a mask would harm their health. Dot. Yet they are being asked to put it on in an environment where they are unnecessarily exposing themselves to a deadly virus. The Holocaust. How the fuck? Desperate country. Manipulative leader. Fear. Bureaucracy. Etc. There's a lot to learn about how it all happened and I'd encourage everyone to learn about it and or take a class on it. Why the worst people have the most friends? Hanging around with bad people makes you feel good about yourself so that's probably why the friends stick around. Also better to be making fun of someone than to be made fun of. How some people with bad habits and poor conditions still act like they are better than those around them. Why everyone insists on being pissed off at everyone else all. The. Time. Got to have something to keep that fire hot. People separating into countries and not working together as a species. Even the term globalism is considered to be something objectively bad. I know we work together on some things. But I still feel like we are a lot more separated than we need to be. Countries are separated because they have different beliefs. Social behaviors. And cultures. How people can have all the free education in the world literally at their fingertips, internet, but still not be educated at all. The compulsion to tell other people how they should live their own lives. Why is it that even that we know something is completely wrong? Yet we continue to do it every single time. Everything that kills me makes me feel a E. How people can have such an issue over letting people identify or marry how they want. I feel less people are troubled with the marriage thing nowadays. The identity matters when you start getting into details and trying to say scientific fact is wrong. As an example. The male SX is unable to give birth and saying you aren't a male doesn't change your physiology. That seems to be where the issue is. Ah, uh, at least in America, odd desire to race to the bottom. Where people try to tear down others who are trying to better themselves. You've all seen and maybe experienced it. Getting flack for going to the gym. For studying for tests. For reading a book. For going to the doctors. Why we kill each other. It takes 3 seconds to do a certain thing but they'd rather complain about it for 3 hours. How an untalented 15 year old girl who dances in front of a camera while wearing little to no clothing is more popular than the inventor of the C programming language. 
the programming language that every OS is coded in. How we just allow the powers that be to commit the endless atrocities that they do. Day in. Day out. On a loop. Forever. Hoarding wealth you can't spend in your lifetime. I know it's about holding on to power. But still. Why does our tribal nature apply so strongly to sports teams and political parties? People will defend their groups at high costs even if they don't belong to them. People block their family members on social media because how they vote. Shouldn't we support our real tribes instead? I don't understand why we are so easily defined by our group affiliations. And not who we are as individuals. Being selfish. Why? Why you have to protect yourself? What you should take that parking place? Why your problems should be untied before others? Why you should be the richest in that room? Why you should be the one that everybody admire? Why you should be the best? What do you have? Your arrogance. Greed and egoism. With the modern age of the internet being dumb is a choice and people are still choosing to be going against things cause the government wants to mind control them. Nature eludes me. But I strongly believe that people are not born evil. That evil exists separate. Alive. And makes people into something like itself. I think it's important to separate suffering from evil. I think the Buddha's first noble truth is demonstrably true. Life is made of suffering. It requires suffering. Breakdown. And destruction to perpetuate itself. It's unavoidable. Evil. By contrast. Is when a sentient being chooses to make other sentient beings suffer more. In service of the goal of alleviating his own suffering. Buddhists would argue this is futile. Like getting stuck in quicksand and struggling harder and harder. The noble choice is to accept one's fair share of suffering. And do one's best to keep both one's own suffering. And that of others. To a manageable minimum. Greed. That 3% annual growth is not sustainable and cutting employees to make the revenue only causes more fatigue on the employees left to pick up the pieces. Quality of work goes down. Corners get cut. Customers become unhappy with unsatisfactory wait times and quality. And in turn take their business elsewhere further cutting away from that 3% growth. How we know our current system sucks yet people continue to be hopeful that a politician will fix the very system they are a part of. People simply don't understand how inherently corrupt the current world governments are until they work in that environment. It permeates throughout it and those who are in power wield it with such disgusting grace to the point of even putting union bosses in their pockets. Sure. We may have a politician that may want to do good but the way the system is structured guarantees falling back into shti or the politician is unable to do anything because of the system. Whistleblowers are treated like garbage and shunned. It's insane. How we're in an age where pedophilia can genuinely be considered by people as a sexuality. Fear still making babies. Man. There are 7. 75 billion people on earth. Stop. The way things are going again with COVID and using the 1918-20 flu pandemic's second wave as an example. Mother nature may be about to put a stop to it. She's a bitch. Why is it that people who regularly go to their places of worship often behave so poorly, judging others and being selfish in their daily living? Why kids today would rather watch videos of other kids doing shit? Like playing with opening toys. Or playing video games. When I was a kid the last thing on my mind was staring at my friend opening up and playing with toys for hours. Which is essentially the equivalent of watching YouTube videos of the same thing. Especially creepy when it's an adult doing the video as well. It's literally views by the billions. And makes children and their families turn into millionaires for doing next to nothing. Why be a doctor or a lawyer when apparently you can make $20? 000. 000 a year making videos of toys. How little amazement we have. I don't get how we can be looking at the nighttime sky. Full of stars. Wondering how crazy it is that we even exist. Then a minute later going back into I wonder how many likes my FB post has mowed. Money. A piece of paper we invented can do so much good and cause so much pain and suffering at the same time. 
Blood has been shed for money. Kind deeds have been done with money. Having to continually explain to other people over and over again that they should care about the other people around them. I didn't realize it would be this hard. It applies to the poor if someone has to put it in a story and flex helping needy. It applies to the rich. Who has good cloth and looks good. The other time. The inability to change sides when displayed hard facts. For example. Anti-vaxxers. Flat earthers. Holocaust deniers.